So let's talk about hiring freshers. Uh, let's say for an academy, if you are hiring a product manager, uh, as who is a fresher, what do you? What are the key things that you look at? It, that's a funny question because last year uh, uh, we were going to hire freshers, and this is the same question I was on SPM back then. And I had the same question to my seniors: What do you look for in a fresher? Right? I think in in fresher, the core. Uh, uh something that you want to get clarity is intent right because uh, product management as such is not a rocket science right so everyone has that can have can learn it but intent matters one very simplistic way to put it second on a high level or surface level you can understand uh product sense and analytical thinking right when i say analytical thinking it could just be how they look at any problem statement you can ask them that any problem statement that they think probably a guesstimate, right? Very simplistic way of explaining how they think of a problem statement. It could be, and, and that gives, so basically, objective is to get understanding of their product sense and then add analytical thinking. It's not, the objective is not to think uh, if they can come up with solutions, right? Because solution, coming to a solution takes a lot of time. And, and as even as a PMs, we took like, it take days to come up with the final solution. But if your approach on how they think about something is 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 right or not, right? And I had a very different filter. If someone used to say that I want to be a, I want to get into product management because I want to be the CEO of product, it was a red flag because technically that's a definition that has been abused in the market. You're not CEO of anything, uh, and and because as a vertical, it's very tough. As a product product manager, it's extremely tough to navigate your way. Because you are not, no one is technically directly reporting to you. So you have to build that influence. But that is not important for freshers as well. But yeah, it's, it's more about analytical thinking and how you tackle a problem statement. Need not a problem. It could be as any simple problem statement. You can ask them to, uh, a question that is very famous on internet, right? Design probably an alarm system. Uh, for all blind. For all alarm for blind. You don't, you're not looking for them to use the words or write a PRD. But how do you think about it? You might solution might be wrong, but what are the problems the area that you're thinking? So that brief sense and analytical thinking is something that's key for anyone um, that you'd want. The more the better, obviously. If you can touch upon more things, it's very important. And if you're hiring someone, uh, an experienced uh, PM uh, into a role, so what are the key things that you look at? When you're hiring for an experienced role, it changes, right? Obviously, the bare minimum, say, suppose I'm hiring someone for a PM, the bare minimum requirements, the level of depth in each of the requirements, as I said, analytical thinking, execution, and product sense are the core uh, things for an early stage PM, right? So, if on a scale of one to 10, I was okay if, in a fresher, if I looked up to like they should be above five, here I would look more deeper into it. You should be good at solving problems, how you're, how you're structuring your problem statements, what is your thing, how do you Think about design. How are you going to be data understanding the data? What problem data to look at? What not to look at? So their depth increases, and at the same time, it's also a lot. Quite a few times, it's over culture fitment. Um, mm. The kind, the way your company now works, right? Uh, where I work currently, the pace is high, as I said, right? And it's a lot of times fast paced enough that if someone has not worked, they will find it extremely hard to be. Uh, uh, when I came in, I, mean, I think I, I came in, it was just after COVID and I came, I had worked at Aqua for that matter. And then I was working at Paytm also. But when I came in here, I realized the pace is extremely, like, it was extreme pace. For the first three, four weeks, I was just finding hard to uh, navigate the system. There's so much happening. It was right. But so that also is important as a PM, you think the kind of uh, depth you are, the sense that you have of your org, if a PM would be able to navigate through all of that, that also matters. But that's more of a cultural fitment that is key. But I think yeah, the basics need to be very strong about uh, from a PM perspective. 